2018 Chrysler 300 SRT. In this, its lucky 13th year of production with only one major redesign, the Chrysler 300 might not spring instantly to buyers' minds when contemplating large cars for purchase. This quieter, more luxurious, and stoic sibling of the wilder, crazier Dodge Charger and Dodge Challenger SRT Sket Packs, Hellcats, and Wheelie Pulling Demons hasn't drawn much attention to itself lately. Chrysler cancelled the 300's high-powered SRT8 variant in 2015 just as Dodge began probing the outer limits of powertrain insanity. And although the results of a 23andMe cheek swab of the 300 were reveal DNA evidence of ancient ancestral migration from Stuttgart, Germany, thanks to some turn-of-the-century W210E and W220S class bits, this car feels neither ancient nor the least bit Swabian. Nope. This baby's all laid up with Detroit swagger, thanks to its strong, muscular shoulders, prominent wheel arches amply filled by big wheels and tires, and narrow greenhouse openings that almost seem designed to afford protection from stray gunfire coming from Slim Shady's hood south of 8 Mile Road. Although the design was refined a bit for 2011, it still struts with a confidence that has helped land its starring roles in numerous hip-hop music videos and at least one song lyric reference, always saw you for what you could've been ever since you met me like when Chrysler made that one car that looked just like the Bentley, Drake, Keep the Family Close, 2016. How much longer will Chrysler's original gangsta sedan and only actual car remain in production? Scuttlebutt suggests when the LX platform gets replaced for 2021 on an alpha shared architecture, the 300 might be put out to pasture. That said, together with the Charger, FCA's LX sales currently dominate the full-size car segment, outselling GM, Chevy Impala and Buick LaCrosse, by 17% last year. Oh well. To freshen up for its three-year dash to the finish line, the 2018 300 lineup gets a bunch of detail tweaks, starting with the model series lineup. It now progresses from Touring, through Touring L, 300S, and Limited, to the Ultimate, 300C. That new base Touring model gets cloth seats, 17-inch aluminum wheels, and a $3,345 price drop to $30,090 from the previous base limited model. All but the 300C come with standard V6 power and optional wood. The 300S gets a more powerful V6 and an optional Hemi V8, rear drive only. The range topping 300C now gets the 5.7-liter Hemi V8 and rear drive as standard, along with new mocha-colored quilted Napa leather seating and or panel upholstery plus natural open core wood trim. Two new metallic paint colors join the rainbow, green and ocean blue. At the launch event, two Hemi-powered 300S were available to sample. I started off in the more luxurious 300C, which wore its quilted mocha interior very richly. Priced at $42,090 to start, a fully decked out 300C, at $51,070, just kisses the bottom end of the midsize luxury sedan class, A5, 5 Series, XF, E Class, and L. Such a bedazzled 300C feels nearly competitive in terms fit, finish, and materials and offers the bonus of superior space and an intoxicating V8 rush and roar that no entry 2.0 liter turbo in the looks class can touch.